island of Mauritius is an African nation situated 2,000 miles east of southern Africa in the Indian Ocean. In 1638, the Dutch established the first settlement on Mauritius. They later abandoned the island and the French claimed it in 1715. Slaves were imported from Africa to clear away lava rock in the fields so that sugar cane could be planted. In 1810, the British attacked Mauritius and took it from the French. Slavery was abolished and workers came from India. Muslim and Chinese merchants soon followed. In 1968, Mauritius achieved its independence and became a republic. Its population now consists of Indians, Chinese, Franco-Mauritians, Britons and Creoles who are descendants of white colonists and slaves from Madagascar. The dominant religions of this small island of 788 square miles are Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, and Christianity. Mauritius is overcrowded and virtually without natural resources. Its social fabric is fragile. Since 1952, the population of Mauritius has doubled to 1.2 million. Stresses upon Mauritian family life are being felt as never before. Mauritius is confronted with balancing the demands of a complex and increasingly urban society with its cultural, ethnic and religious traditions. For centuries, Mauritius has been at the crossroads of the trade routes of the Indian Ocean. It is now at the crossroads, becoming part of the industrialized world. Monsignor Margeau, who was the previous cardinal uh, in Mauritius, uh, made a very nice statement which I think described very well. He says that we should consider each group, uh, racial or cultural, as a fruit, an apple, a pear, a mango, and we want to make Mauritius not a marmalade where we mix up everything and grind everything and we have one marmalade with one I don't know what taste, but we would like to have a fruit salad, where in a fruit salad, each one retains its individual flavor and taste. We just recognize the right of everyone to be different, and that we live with these differences, and sometimes we find them to be a source of enrichment. Do not forget that this island is the same as it was in the 16th, 17th century, far away outside the main currents of developed countries and nations which means that to for the survival of the country you have give you have to give the very best of yourself and this is ingrained in us in every evolution it's not just the work of uh, one ethnic group or one culture i think it's because of the mix mixture of uh, different groups different cultures and that uh, leads to the success, to the miracle of the country. For quite some time, people have been talking of Mauritius as being 
an example of peaceful coexistence. To my mind, this is by now outdated. I believe more in terms of an active interaction between the different communities that live in this country. I have a very Anglo-Saxon upbringing, and, uh, which I think is also very American. And we have a confrontational system in, uh, in the West, i.e. two ideas confront, they fight it out, and that the best one wins. Now, what I've learned here, where the majority of the population is Asiatic, now the Asiatics have a completely different way of looking at life. Their way of looking at it is you look at what your opponent, what his position is, and you try to get as close to his position as possible. Because there are so many uh, different uh, cultures and communities around, we are used to listen to the others. We have to take care of the others, their opinions, and we readily accept them. I mean, the idea is to try and get a little bit of everything and to find in the end result a better end result than the others. Let's look at the school children, for instance. When they go to school in any village or town, they walk by the sides of someone who doesn't look like them. This is why we not only come to know each other within this country, but we know also quite well uh, a diversified culture representing the world over. In Mauritius, I think, after all this struggle that we have gone through, we have been able to understand that there's nothing better than understanding, helping, sharing, and giving a hand to anybody who is next to you. I think the women who work in the sugarcane fields have preserved this uh, tradition. Uh, for example, the, 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 the Creole lady who would not hesitate at all to help the Hindu lady to complete her task. And um, it's something extraordinary which I, which I love. Our senior management is drawn from a number of the different uh, ethnic communities of Mauritius. Now, we believe that that's a strength. The fact we do come from different backgrounds uh, means that when a question is asked, we don't all give the same answer. And therefore, you have a number of different aspects of the question. It's formidable to see how we can rub shoulders with each other and show a sense of solidarity, which is remarkable. We know that we are all Mauritian people and that we share, whether we want it or not, we share the same fate. If I were to wake up in the morning and uh, some, one of the components of the Mauritian community had disappeared, for me it would be completely disastrous. I can't live without the Chinese, the Muslims, the Hindus, the Creoles, the Franco Mauritians. For me, they make my humanity. And for me, I would be lame. I am lucky enough to have a congregation where I meet the great cultures of the world every day. Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam and uh, Christianism. Two thousand of my parishioners are Chinese, so I use this very regularly. Uh, you see, I'm asked very often in colleges, in factories, to say masses where most of the congregation is not Christian, or Muslim and Hindus. So I call it my East and West. For me, it's a way of bringing together the East and the West, so important for our world today. There is no religion of the world that preaches anything contrary to love to universal brotherhood, to tolerance. I feel, you know, these are human values we should, which we should preserve, which, which, should, which should persist. And um, you, you don't see this, these uh, kinds of things in other working environments. Uh, people, people are becoming so egocentric. Any community, any race, any religion is nothing but it's what comes from your heart. It comes from the heart, and people feel it, our guests feel it. 
uh, the, the famous Mauritian smile that they talk about all the time. I think that's why people come back. Yeah, I think we have developed over the years the ability to look at the other with the heart. You know, I'm just being a bit poetic, but that's how it is. We have uh, the capacity of looking beyond physical appearance and beyond um, ethnic differences. We just see the man or the woman. We see the Mauritian. It takes a whole village to make a man. You can't grow up just in a small nucleus family and become somebody who can live in harmony with the society. In Mauritius, we have this village that can make the Mauritian somebody who can be in harmony with uh, his brothers, with uh, the people around, and eventually with the world. Mauritius is an island and somehow we have uh, the tendency to, to believe uh, that each man is an island. But I don't look at it from the negative point of view. I believe that uh, the island that we are in the midst of the ocean has the possibility of receiving the, the currents coming from all corners of the world. Uh, like uh, Mahatma Gandhi once said, we open the doors and the windows and allow all the currents to come in, but uh, we try to stay on our feet 